Hey everyone, this is a quick review on the Daiwa Saltiga Lever Drag 2 Speed. It's a 60 size. Um, it's the largest size they make in the 2 Speed um, Saltiga. It's a newer reel on the market. Um, retails for about $7.59, I think it is, so seven to $800. Um, you add line on it, another 100 bucks at least. Um, but wanted to just kind of go over my experiences with it. Um, I've fished it a little bit. I've caught some fish on it and I think it's a great reel. Um, I got this reel for the purpose of nighttime knife jigging and um, heavier fly line bait fishing. So like 80 pound, 100 pound fly line. Um, but honest review on the reel. I mean, it's great in the hand. It's not too big. It's not small to where you feel like you'd be undergunned if you did get hooked up on a 200 pound fish. Um, it is smaller than some of the other reels out there, but it's definitely a bigger size reel. Um, so I'd feel very comfortable if there were 200 pound, uh, 150 to 200 pound fish around to actually fish this. So um, I put 100 pound Iser line, brutally strong um, MC on here. It is the colored line so it changes color every 100 feet i did this because when we're nighttime jigging uh, it's nice to know your depth a lot of times captain will yell from the fly bridge hey the fish are at 200 feet 300 feet and it's very easy to watch your line watch the orange go you know you're at 100 orange goes you know you're at 200 blues next you know you hit 300 then you crank back up depending on where the fish are at so it's really nice to have this colored line on here uh, this is a great setup for nighttime jigging. It's got tons of drag. I didn't even max it out when I needed to, or when I when I fished. Um, drag's really smooth. It's got a big thumb lever here, so it's really easy to put it in gear. There's actually a clicker here to stop it from going into full. So if you're at strike and that fish is, is let's say, spooling you, um, you can always push down on the button and and tighten up the drag up into its uh, into its full drag setting so um, two speeds classic easy to work you know push the button in it's in low hit the clip on the bottom it's in high um, great little reel it's got these um, the clips on the top of the ring so you can get into a harness if you need to um, I believe you can flip them over and put them in the reel I'm not sure I haven't tried it yet but definitely an option so um, I would highly recommend this. Um, I've landed fish on it, um, nothing over 100 pounds, but definitely over gunned uh, for those size fish. And it was nice and balanced. It's not super wide. Um, I was looking at the 55 size, which is a narrower reel. I just felt like I couldn't put enough line. It probably would have held 400 yards of this 100 pounds. So I went with the wider one. It's not much wider, fits nice in the hand. This salt and pepper shaker handle is really nice. It's got the longer crankshaft on it. I mean, this is a very, very solid reel. Um, I'd put it up there with the best of them. Um, you're definitely getting your money's worth when you get something like this. Um, just make sure you pair it with a good rod and have fun fishing. Oh yeah, not to mention, check this free spool. So when you're nighttime jigging, and that jig's just free falling like this. It allow and it's free falling, and the spool's just letting it fall. That jig will move a lot more than if you had a reel that didn't have a good free spool on it. So it's got a lot more action down there. Um, definitely helps when you have a live bait on here. Call it sardine, um, mackerel, live flying fish. It allows that fish to swim away from the boat with ease and no tension. So great reel, um, good size. I really enjoy fishing it, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.